uh, on eBay, drop shipping, drop shipping on eBay listing. I'm using drop ship manager DSM tool. And, uh, it's my second video doing this in the past week, uh, showing you what I'm doing. It's just, I'm just trying to, uh, show how quickly you can go through these and, and I'm not like some big drop shipper. I, you know, I, I have like barely 300 items in my store and I'm doing so many a day. I'm working hard, uh, doing other things as well, regular jobs. And so, but anyhow, slowly building the store, right? Because I mean, I was a member of uh DS domination back in the, back in the day. And got discouraged on drop shipping, but now, uh, I'm trying to pick it up again. So I'm looking for stuff that has, uh, four stars or more has a good amount of reviews. Okay. And I'm looking at a price. If it's not, this is Walmart. So Walmart's free shipping at $35. So if it's $35, I'll, I'll use, but 13 plus the $6 shipping, that's still a good thing. A, a good, uh, a good price. I don't even know what that was. I was just looking at the price and the stars. I don't even know what the hell that was. But uh, we're going to list it because the trick is you, you can't get hung up on what uh, what the item is. You're not looking for the perfect item. What you think is the perfect item, what you think is going to sell, ain't going to sell. You know, you never know. Today, today I sold a, a lampshade. I would have never listed a lampshade if I was going through and screening items as to what I thought was going to sell. I would have never put a lampshade. I've sold a freaking lampshade. All right. So what do you do? You go down here and you kind of look to see what's, they all have the brand name in, in the, in the title, right? So we're going to get rid of the brand name and we're going to get rid of the, the Saville was uh, like the model. So we're just going to go magazine rack black. Right, we're gonna go holder, storage, stand, organizer. We can go bathroom. Right. Uh, can you think of anything else? We can put by spectrum at the end. Okay. Now, you don't have to fill out. No, it's got seven characters left. Can you think of anything else? Magazine rack, uh, newspapers didn't fit, so we'll just put news. All right, and we publish, continue to publish. All right, this you know we're just we're just going through quick now. While it's while it's pop, propagating there, we're gonna go back and look for the, our next item. Okay, this caddy. It's got seven reviews, four and a half stars, but see, it's sold and shipped by Home Innovations. DSM tool, I'm only using Walmart, all right? So, com Command Caddy Clear, one large. It's got 31 reviews, four and a half stars. So, we're not thinking about it. It's got reviews and stars. Now, other video I told you, this is the link right here this is this is going to your source okay walmart this is going to my store and this is the template and there's other templates too uh i used that one but there's other templates all right anyway import that now we come down let's look clear plastic caddy command 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 see they always use they always use the brand name and the title. People don't search brand names, at least I don't think they do. Okay, so what do we got in here? Storage, kitchen, pantry, organizer. You can put plastic in there. Hanging, it's not gonna fit. Just because they have caddy, we're gonna put new in the beginning of ours and hope for the best. Now, if I go down here, I'm gonna show you, I'm doing an 8% profit for me. 19% is my break even, that's all my fees, eBay, PayPal, taxes. 
I'm going to make a dollar on this if I sell it, but but big whoops. It's, you know, uh, I can play around with this, but who wants to make less than a dollar? Not me, you know, I'm not trying to make a lot of money here. I'm trying to gain sales. I'm trying to build, build a store, you know, and, uh, once I start getting sales, I can, I can up my prices a little bit. So where, where are we? Oh, something's beeping over here. That's my other phone. Uh, so we go down to the next one, $33 for this one. Then it's plus it's the $6 shipping. All right. It's only got the one review. So I'm not gonna, this one has five stars. What the hell is it? It's a portable project case. Don't know what it is, but it's sold by school specialty, so I'm not going to worry about it. This one has one review, even though it's five stars. But see these things? Everybody has one of these goddamn things on their desk, so I'm listing it. Okay, so I'm back. Import. Okay, now we're going to work on this one. Sandusky. Buddy single wire measurement. So we're not going to have any of that in there. We don't need that. Wire mesh magazine file. File back. Uh, stand. Letter. It says file on me. Yep. Um, what's another word for file? How about packet? Uh, we can always go down to the description down here and see if there's anything in here. Organization, office, storage, desktop, drawer, organizer. So there you go. That's what you want to put on there. Okay, so we're going to put organizer. Organizer. Not a great speller. Okay. Publish. Hold on, back to head, back to head, because I didn't put desk. Desk on there. We're going to put desk on there. Desk organizer. And we're going to keep it at that. <coughs> I don't know what's that been three already. So we go back. So while it's while it's going, we we'll go to the next one. Okay, so that was that thing there. What's this smart step index organizer? Twelve pockets. All right, 33 reviews, okay, listing it. Like I said, you just don't know what's going to sell. I sold a lampshade. I might sell that other thing, but if I, you know, if I didn't list it, so we're going to get rid of a uh, step index organizer. <sighs> A little research. None of these sold, so it doesn't matter if their titles are the one. Step index organizer. Smead step index organizer. Well, we're just going to get rid of that and make it an organizer. Okay, we're going to get rid of the color because who cares about the color? We're going to put 12 pocket because it says 12 pocket. It's a document, file. Holder could have used some of those document was in the other one put by Smead and we can put new over here. I don't know if new works or it doesn't work. I've seen it, you know, I've had I've had it work for me. I've had it not work for me. Okay, but we're gonna cut it close to the end here. So hope you learned something. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Have a good day. Okay, this video is about drop shipping, listing, uh, drop shipping on eBay, listing with using DSM tool. 
Uh, it's my third video doing this, uh, showing you how quick it can be. Uh, you don't have to sweat it. It's not something that should take you a lot of time. You should be able to go through in a matter of 10 minutes, three to five of them, and uh, just rapidly go through them. So uh, you didn't know, here we go. Like and subscribe. If you learn anything, uh, leave a comment, share the video. You know, uh, I do all kinds of work from home, make money on the internet make money online type of stuff. Drop shipping is just one of them. We do other things. There's other videos. Check them out. Okay. So I'm using DSM tool and I'm drop shipping so far exclusively from Walmart. So go to Walmart and I'm in the uh, home, the home section. I went to departments, went to home furniture, and then I went to uh, artificial flowers. All right. So what I'm doing is like always, I'm looking for how many stars it has, how many reviews it has, making sure that it's sold by Walmart. Okay. Here's one. This says a bestseller. Okay. Uh, also the price, um, $35 or more ships free on Walmart. Otherwise, it's six dollars. So when I look at something like this, fourteen forty-seven plus six, you know, uh, it's around twenty dollars. I would, I would list this. Okay, see, it's got four and a half, four and a half stars, four and a quarter stars, whatever that is, eighty-eight reviews. So we're gonna, you can't really worry about too much. You get, you, you have your. Uh, parameters, what, you know, what you, what you are looking for. Like I said, I'm looking for stars, reviews, if it's a bestseller. Okay. Again, this is a DSM tool. So this is the Walmart link. This is my eBay store link. And this is the template for, for my listing. I'm going to import it. Okay. Now we're going to look at the title. We're going to optimize the title. So square bamboo planter. Okay. English Ivy. A lot of them use the brand name in the title. So we're going to change that. We're going to get rid of, well, English Ivy. That's what it is. It's an English Ivy planter. So maybe, but let's put artificial. You want to make something different. Okay, so now we're going to go indoor, home, decor, contemporary. Okay, now there's only one left. Now let's look at the price. Yes, I'm doing 8% desired profit. That's my personal thing. 19% is my break even. That's eBay, uh, taxes, PayPal fees, uh, my estimated profit if I sell that item, you know. This is a $20 item. You're not looking to make a lot of money. Okay. So not the cheapest, but my title is different. That's the key. My title is different publishing. Okay. Then I go back looking down for the next item. This one here has uh, 33 views. It's a little bit on the expensive side of, with the shipping, uh, but I'm going to take a chance with it. Because you never know what's going to sell. Okay. You never know. So you, you just keep selling. You just keep listing. You list, you list, you list. You know, it doesn't take me a lot of time. My, my wireless internet is what slows me down the most. So I just import that. Now Delray plants, a cat palm is probably what kind of palm it is. But we're going to get rid of Delray Plants because that's a uh, brand name, 10-inch pot. It's a tree, indoor, house, decor, garden. I don't know why Unique's in there, container. Do I have home in there? Home, interior. Did 
doesn't fit. But I'll leave it at that. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, Delray, whatever that is. I'm not going to pronounce that. Delray plants. So Delray plants. So we have a different title. All right. Now, I'm not uh, Mr. Dropshipper. So, I mean, if I'm doing something you disagree with, leave a comment down below. Uh, you know, f give me some pointers. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I'm uh, I'm small potatoes. I'm, I'm selling about an item a day. All right. So, that's where I am. I'm not false advertising. Okay. But this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm doing it. And if you have a better way, uh, share. Okay. Three stars, two reviews, not going to do it. This one's not sold by Walmart. This one's not sold by Walmart. This one, pumpkin mix. If it was October, I'm, you know, I might do that. No. See, something like this is $34.94. If it was $35, I would list it. It's got four reviews, four stars, 30 reviews. But again, it's not listed by Walmart, so I can't do it. Can't do it, Sally. Uh, this one here, Rubber Tree. This one's got five stars. Only got three reviews, five stars. But uh, again, not by Walmart. So we got to keep it open. Okay. You want to sell an apple? Two fifty-five plus the six dollars. Be under ten bucks. Who? Somebody might want to buy an apple. I don't know. Yeah, this one's got four and a half stars. Eleven. Did I, did I just list this one? Delray it was a different one. Okay, Delray, Majesty Palm, Majesty Palm. So we're gonna get rid of Delray, All right? Why don't we put indoor and you just put as many of these keywords as you want. You know, and you, again, you can go down here and look at what now 16 are sold with real live Majesty Palm. All right. But that's a 27. We're at 37. So we're not matching that. So we got to be different. Okay. So our title starts with indoor Majesty Palm. So you, Majesty Del Rey, Del Rey, nothing, nothing else starts with indoor. So we might have a chance. Now, this one's at 39. It says Del Rey plants on. You never can tell. Okay, that one starts with the with the brand name, and it's thirty nine seventy eight, which cheaper than it. I could copy this title if I was a sniper, and and try and do that. You know. But we're optimizing here. Can't jump around with different strategies. Stick to a strategy. All right. So, what's this like? Th three in a couple of minutes. All right. This it's rapid. You just keep going. All right. Uh, rose petals. For some reason, five stars. For some reason, people are going to buy rose petals. I don't know why. It's Valentine's Day is coming up. People are going to buy rose petals. Some idiot is going to buy rose petals to put all over his bathroom or all over his bedroom for Valentine's Day. Right? I'm that kind of idiot. So... Top quality. Okay. So we are reaching our limit. So we're going to optimize this quick. Right. And then we're going to quit. So like and subscribe. Valentine's Day. Romantic decorations. All right. Uh, and that's it. All right, so if you if you learned something, if you liked it, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I'm, I'm working on getting up to 100 subscribers. I'm working on it. 
Okay, this video is about drop shipping, uh, about find, how to find products, how to find other drop shippers and what they're selling, and uh, how to find products that are selling. Uh, so what we do is we look for drop shippers, find out what they're selling, and sell it for less. All right, so uh, let's see. Go start off at Walmart, you find yourself a product. Could be anything. Okay. Uh, I found this light. I, I install these lights at work all the time. I know that that's a good price. Okay. But uh, first what we're going to do is going to add this to the cart. See how much it is. 4103. Okay. I also have the eBay calculator over here. So in the item cost, I'm going to put 4103. Okay. Let me go back over here. All right. Now we're going to copy and paste right go over to eBay and we're gonna put it in here and search it all right now this is the product but this is a two-pack 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 all right so here's a one pack 61 86 57 49 74 50. all right so the cheapest one here is 53 53 let's go back to the calculator bin price 53 53 okay so 530 is his profit he's a drop shipper okay so that makes all of these guys drop shippers okay so what you do is all of these guys are drop shippers. They're all the same. They're all, that's the price range and that's what they're doing. So let's click on this guy. Okay. Over here, that's his uh, store name. Okay. You would click on the store name or, you know, save the, save the store name. All right. I don't want to do that, but you would save the store name and you would go up here to advanced. Okay. Go to advanced, scroll down here to where it says sellers, only show items. And right in here, you would put their store name and hit search. Okay. And uh, let me see if I have, all right, so let's, let's look at capital kids here. All right. You would go to them and that's now. This is all the stuff they're drop shipping. You can go on the side, go to his so, uh, sold listings, find out what he's selling. Okay, how much he's selling. You can find out how successful he is. They have 465 listings up here. Okay, and they're selling stuff every day. Not a lot, but they're selling stuff. Uh, so you would, you would, you know, you do the normal search and see if you can undercut him, find out. Uh, well, let's do this one anyway. So you click on this. All right. And you would search Google image. Depending on what your, uh, well, he's not, I, I use Walmart and it doesn't come up, so, but you would, it would, uh, let's say, well, let's, let's just assume we'll go to Amazon and you'd find out how much he's selling it for. So there it is, it's $29.99 there, and he's selling it for $35, okay? So you have to go in the calculator and figure out if you can undercut him. So you would go in the calculator, and you would put in the price, and you would try and figure out, you know, if you can undercut that price, okay? But the, pro the, po the point is here, you clicked on this, now you go on, he sold 11 of them, all right? Click on 11 sold, and it'll tell you when they sold. So January 5th, okay? So once in January, once in December. This isn't a big seller. It did sell, so but three times in November, three times in October. So it probably averages about three times a month. So, you know, sell, you know, list it. Why not? So that's it quickly. I don't want to waste too much more time, but that's, that's how to do it. All right? And uh, all of those guys, let me go back over here. So that was just one guy on the list, right? Oh, where were we? 
you know, when we were doing the search. So everyone on that list was a drop shipper. You just keep, you go from one to the next to the next. Okay. And you just copy down all their stuff and that's how you find products. That's how you find products. So if you found anything uh, helpful or interesting, or if you learned anything, you know, share the video, like, and subscribe. All right. Have a good day. Okay, we're going to try and uh, get the second part going on. If you didn't know, here we go. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, share the video. This video is about eBay drop shipping. Uh, you've gotten a sale. Okay, how do you know you got a sale? Uh, you're going to get an email. You're going to get two emails. You're going to get an email from eBay. You're going to get an email from PayPal. And they're going to tell you, uh, you know how much the sale was going to give you an option to print a shipping label and uh, going to give you the customer's name address zip code and all of that happy stuff so if you're not using software what you would do is you would take that information go to your supplier for the item that's sold and you would uh, buy the item when you get to the cart you would put in your credit card information but instead of uh, they going to your address that's when you put your customer's address in there, right? So you put your customer's address in there and uh, that's the whole premise of drop shipping, right? But, you know, if I'm going to use DSM tool, DSM tool, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not making any money for, for plugging them. I, I think they're really good. I think it's the first 50 is free. Your first 50 listings are free. So get items that sell, get your first 50 listings using DSM tool. It'll, it'll, control your prices it'll, it'll it'll you know watch your out of stocks it keeps track of all that stuff for you so you don't get caught you know with something that's sold that you can't you know fulfill and you have to make an email saying you know that you don't have it and you, you don't want to do that so uh anyway let's go over to my gmail let me show you i guess i got the one email from ebay sale confirmed right the ebay sale confirmed and service at PayPal, instant payment received from so-and-so, this guy here, Daniel Chin. All right. So now I have software, so I'm not going to go to there. But you would get all your information for either one. You would be able to get their, your address and, and, and what the item was and click back to your listing and figure out your, your supplier. Okay. But uh, I'm just going to go right to DSM Tool. Okay, now this is the item that's sold. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others, but all you gotta do is push the button. Okay, don't ask me why I sold a gallon of paint. I sold a gallon of paint. Okay, so I sold a gallon of paint. <coughs> I don't know how, I don't know why, but I don't even know why I listed a gallon of paint, but apparently I listed a gallon of paint. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to add it to my cart. All right. Man, it's slow, right? Drop shipping should be quick. All right, so there it is. So $5.99, right? Uh, estimated tax is $0.69. Cents, so... The, the total price is sixteen fifty two. I forget what I sold it for. I think I got like twenty one dollars for it or something like that. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to check out. All right, I'm going to show you the, how it puts in the address, but I'm not going to show you the credit card part because uh, obviously. So, but that's just inputting your credit card and just you know saying you know complete the order you know so 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 catch up to me here 
Zip, zip, zip. It's really, you know, it's not always this slow. This is really pissing me off. You know what it is? Because I got a lot of addresses from all this, all the places. So anyway, up here in the corner, this is my DSM tool. I don't have to worry about if, if I didn't have software, I would have to cut and paste from my emails, okay, where the address was. The way I used to do it was I would open up this email and... Uh, I would open up the email and just go back and forth, copy and paste all the information and then go to the next step. But when you got software, all I got to do is push paste. And everything gets pasted. Okay, everything gets pasted. So save the address. It's going to give ask me for my password. Okay. See if that works. Something's screwy with this freaking internet. All right, so we save the address. Now I'm not going to go any further. The next step is to confirm your credit card, and then just and then just uh, okay. So Daniel Chin is is the is the address. Hit continue. Now it's going to come up to the payment method and putting in your credit card. And then at the end of that, it's just going to ask you to, to submit the, the and, you, and you click buy. You finish, you finish, and it's done. And it's done. Then you wait for the email saying it was shipped. And then you put the tracking number in like I showed you in the other video, okay? Okay, it's very simple stuff, all right? So, uh, one. You didn't know? Here we go. This video is about finding items that sell on eBay, drop shipping on eBay. Okay. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, do all kinds of work from home, how to make money from home videos. Uh, check out my Facebook group, uh, Work From Home Hustle, uh, where we can get in and ask questions and, and, and get a forum going. You know, and uh, you know, fig figure out what where you where you're stuck, and 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 give you help. So join that. Uh, in the meantime, let's get going here. So how do you find items that sell? All right. So there's different strategies, right? You got uh, sniping. You got uh, optimization. You got snap snipe optimization, snap optimization, where you do a little bit of both. And uh, so what? It, whichever one that you choose to do. Searching for items is basically the same. So we're going to go to eBay, up to the search, and you can search for anything. Bicycle, 10-speed bicycles, right? I, what, what I did before is I walked through Walmart. I, I live five, 10 minutes from a Walmart five minutes from a Kmart, a Sears, a Cali. I am live in a good area where I can go to all these places and walk around and see what's on the shelves. I take pictures of items, and then I come back and I, and I search for them. All right? And uh, this is how I do it. If you're not so fortunate, you can get a catalog to jog your memory to, like, find different things, right? So then you would look uh, what you got here. Now, over here, this is – you're not going to compete with this, right? And anyway, that none, nothing sold. All right. The next one, they've got 136 sold. All right. We can check this out. One hundred and thirty-six sold. When? Fifteen viewed per day. It said so. February. Look at that. February, January. This one sells a lot. So let's find out if we can figure out where he gets it from. So let's go down to the description. All right. 
sometimes it's not easy to figure out where they get their stuff from. You got to dig, you got to hard. Sometimes you just got to give up. So uh, search on, search Google for, right? So you're searching Google for part of the description. And okay, so it's an Amazon. All right, so let's see how much it is on Amazon. So it looks like he's getting it from Amazon if he's a drop shipper. So they're getting it at one thirty nine fifty, right? And he's selling it for one twenty nine. So he's not a drop shipper. Okay, so that's a no. So we go back. Now these Gotham steels, all of this TB stuff, I've found that I can't compete in price. It's just cheaper. It's just too cheap everywhere else. All right. Uh, this green cookware, 5709, 72 sold. Come on, Internet. I hate when it's slower than I am. Okay. 72 sold. When did it sell? Because you want something that's selling. So this is, look at this, February, 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 January, January, December. This is selling like crazy, right? So we go back. We go down to the description. Okay, we just copy some of it. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but let's see. Search. No, I know because I've seen this in Walmart, so I know Walmart has it. Right? How much is it in Walmart? Well, this ain't it. Hmm. Let me go back and try that again. For some reason, it was giving me a different item. Let's take more of the description, and all the way down there's the model. So now I should get I should get it good this time. I should get it good this time. I didn't want to copy it. You want to search for it okay search for it in google that's like chrome is really good all right well it's 15 it's giving me the 15 why not here it is 10 piece you know you gotta dig you got to can't give up you gotta dig you gotta find it there it is 49.73 in walmart he's selling it for 57 on nine so Let's check something out here. New Life Auctions. Okay, check this place out. New Life Auctions. Go down here. All right. So your item cost, what did I say it was? $47.93. $47.93. And they're selling it for, what did I say it was? $57.09. Let's see if he's making any money. 5709. Now this will calculate your, your fees. So he's making two dollars by selling that at that price. Okay. So he's a drop shipper. So that's all we want to know. He's a drop shipper. So you found a drop shipper. Now we can list this item and you know this is where you get your choice. This is where you have your choice. If you're a sniper, then you're gonna copy his title. You're gonna cut and paste this title, put it in your eBay. And uh, drop the price. Maybe you make a dollar. He's making two. Maybe you make a dollar if you want to go that way. But uh, the other way you can go is you know the item is selling like crazy at that price. Okay. So you can just change the title around a little bit, optimize it, maybe make it better. It's a hot item and sell it. And you can either take, you know, it's the same, the same price or even more. 
All right, and that's that item. But the key here is we found a drop shipper. Okay, so this guy over here, top rated products. Okay, not too bad. You go to see other items. Okay, this is the gold. Now it's gonna give you all of his sold items how much it was. You already know that he got that other item at uh, Walmart. So chances are he's getting a lot of this stuff from Walmart. And you, all you got to do is you go through the same process. You do each item. Now, if you're sniping, don't snipe the poor guy and kill him. All right. Take like five things and snipe it. But if you're optimizing titles, you can take everything. All right. You're not sniping. You're not you're not taking his title. You're, you're just looking for items that sell. All right. And you, you might be selling for more. It depends on what your margins are. Some people are doing 20%, 10%, 5%, whatever you're comfortable with your margins. So it, don't worry about that. But what you need to know is you find the items and you list them, all right? And you find out where he goes. Now, this guy, you would save this guy and you could always go back to him, all right? And that was just one guy and it only took me a couple of minutes to find him. And I mean, look at these items. He's got a crap load of sold items. I could spend the rest of the day going through here. And, you know, filling up my store with stuff that I know sells, right? Look at this. So that was a good find, all right? I'm going to back out of there because I don't want you, if you didn't catch his name, I don't want you to kill him. So uh, if you learned anything, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's make some money from home. Let's work from home. Let's do the work from home hustle. Join the Facebook group. Subscribe to the channel, all right? Do it now. I don't want to ask you again. All right. Good luck to you. This video is about drop shipping. This video is about uh, making money drop shipping, making extra money drop shipping, cash back, rewards. Uh, okay. You didn't know. Here we go. Uh, drop shipping is, uh, we've been talking about drop shipping and, uh, so you can make some decent money drop shipping. If you're making a couple of dollars a sale, you're making 20 sales a day, 10 sales a day, you know, you're gonna make a decent amount of money. So your first month you list, let's say uh, an item or two a day, you get, a, let's say you get up to 100 items and you're probably getting about 10 sales a day, give or take, and uh, you're making a little bit of money, right? But you wanna make a little bit more money. You wanna try and, how can you still undercut, sell less? I mean, a whole point is find something that sells and sell it for less. So how can you undercut people that are already undercutting, like to, 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 they're already at rock bottom? So how you do that, how you increase your profit uh, margin is with cash back, okay? You got different suppliers have cash back uh, options I'm not going to go into specific ones because i don't know when you're watching this video or time it is this is november 2017 but i don't know when it is that you're watching so there is uh different rewards for different places some places if you're a preferred customer and you belong to a club you can get five to seven percent off using certain credit cards and uh you know there's other credit cards that you could use that are five percent off or at the very least, you could get uh, miles, airline miles, or, or hotel points, or there's all kinds of different programs. If you go online and search different programs, points, uh, credit card, uh, give backs, okay? Cash back, give back, all kinds of stuff like that. You, you know, I don't know what your thing is. You may like to go on vacation and saving up airline miles for you and your family may be worth it for you. Uh, maybe you don't want, you don't need cash back to make the deal better for you. Maybe if you had airline miles, it'd be better for you. You know, so you got to see what, how it is to put your twist on your business to increase your profit margin. Whether it's a, a, a cash back card, an airline miles card, you know, joining a preferred seller club, you know, like 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 a, like a Sam's Club or a Price Club or something, where. Uh, you're, you're a preferred customer and you know it's I think JC Penny has something on it where if you you belong to their club or something that you, you get like a five percent on certain items or whatever so you know another thing too is you could be a uh, if you're a, a Home Depot if you use Home Depot as a supplier you can get into their uh, contractor 
uh, the part, you know, get in as a contractor and you can get 10% off on certain items as a contractor, which, you know, now you're talking, you just save 10% on an item, let's say, let's say you got a tool set, you know, a Ryobi tool set, and you're, you're drop shipping it from Walmart, uh, sorry, from Home Depot, and you're a contractor that's getting 10% off, or you're in their contractor program, then all that is is a, is a commercial license, you, you know, so you don't have to be a contractor to get this, you know, so you could be a business owner, you could be whatever. So, so you you got a 10% profit margin on, on the drill to begin with, now you got a 10% cash back from Home Depot, and you're using a 5% cash card that, that you use to buy the item with. So now you're saving, that's 25%, you know, give or take, if you're adding it up. So, drastically improves your profit margin if you know what you're doing, okay? So, but you gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. There are websites out there. There are websites out there that sell gift cards at a discount, okay? I know that there's there's a there is a market for gift cards where like if you get uh, let's say an FYE gift card for Christmas and you never go to FYE and you have a fifty dollar card you can sell it on these websites and I'm, again I'm not going to give them out because you get to research what's when when you do watching this and when you're figuring this out all you got to do is go on Google and look it up okay there's websites that you can sell gift cards at a, at a discount. So if you you have a fifty dollar gift card to Fye, you can sell it. I'm not sure what the rate is, and I'm not going to tell you because it probably changes from time to time. But you can sell it at a discount. Let's say you get thirty dollars for a fifty dollar gift card. I don't know, maybe less, maybe more, but that's that, that's how it works. Okay. So there are people out there that are buying them that'll return around and resell them. Okay. And you can buy, let's say, uh, Amazon gift cards. You can buy them at, at a five percent, seven percent discount on these on these on these sites okay you just have to you know be careful obviously what's reputable what what's 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 shady and, and you got to figure that out all right but that's how you increase your sales like share subscribe okay subscribe I'm doing my best for you people subscribe to my channel I'm trying to break it I'm trying to get up there on my subscribers is you know it makes me feel good when I get a ding a link and it's uh, it's a subscribe it's one of you guys subscribing so subscribe and leave a comment below I will comment I will reply to comments let's get a discussion going all right I mean healthy conversation have a good day this video is about drop shipping about pricing your items how to price your items drop shipping okay so you didn't know here we go so drop shipping you're drop shipping you're you know looking in your supplier and you're uh, trying to figure out how to price your items you know I'm doing it on eBay, okay? I know people do it on their own stores, people doing it on Shopify or whatever the hell, you know, I'm doing it on eBay. So what I'm doing is I have an eBay fee and I have a PayPal fee and I might have shipping fees. So, and then I have my profit, okay? So a lot of times I like to multiply everything by 40%. Okay, because that will give me my 10% for, for eBay fees, then a 3% PayPal fee, okay? Now, if I have to do shipping on Walmart, it's like six bucks, uh, depending on whatever, you, you know, and uh, anything over $35 is free. So, you know, you're trying to do over $35 if you can. So, so, if you have, if you take whatever off your supplier and you and you times it by 1.4, 40 percent, okay, that'll that'll turn around and and give you enough cushion that it'll give you a good profit, and it'll give you, it'll cover shipping, right? It'll cover taxes. You got taxes. You gotta don't forget your with a retail your retail uh, arbitrage real retail drop shipping is they're, they're charging you taxes. So you got to have taxes, shipping, and uh, eBay fees and PayPal fees. Okay, so all of that is going to roll it around. So if you, now, obviously, 40% might place you to where you can't make money. 
So that's up to you. Don't say, don't say well, he said 40% and, uh, well, it doesn't work, so just drop shipping stinks, I'm out. You have to adjust, okay? How you, like I said in other videos, you maybe you have a, a, a cash back card, maybe you have a discount at certain suppliers, uh, you know, like I said, with the, with uh, Home Depot as a contractor, and uh, you know, there's different there's different ways to optimize your profit. Okay, so, but also just because I say 40%, you know, we're talking 13%. 13% is your break-even nut, right? Because you got a 10% e uh, eBay and, and a 3% PayPal, right? And most of the time you're gonna have free shipping and then you got your taxes so 1.1 would be taxes 1.1 percent for taxes and uh, so you know figure 15 percent right will cover taxes and I'm guessing I drew that out there taxes uh, eBay fee and PayPal fee because and you're going with free shipping so now how much do you want to make do you want to make 10 percent so now, now we're up to 25%. So you don't have to go by 40%. You could go by 25%. All right? If you, if you don't care how much you make per sale, if you're like, hey, listen, I'm trying to get 50 sales a day. I don't care if I make $10 a sale. If, I'm trying, I, I, if, if I make $10 a sale but only make one sale, I could make 50 sales a day at $2 each. I, I'll take that. All right, so you know, you, you got to balance it out here. It's not about how much you're making per sale if you're making a lot of sales, okay? So, you know, it's different strategies, obviously. So, that's what you got to do. You got to figure out what, what works for you, what what your strategy is, and you can't be bouncing back and forth, okay? Now, you, you know, you don't have to stick to one supplier, you know, you can find stuff on. I had issues where uh, I had a supplier and uh, got an order, was all excited, went to go to my supplier, out of stock. Out of stock, don't know when it's going to be in stock. Now I'm, now I'm in trouble because I'm going to have a negative feedback on my eBay. So what do I do? I go on Google, I search the item, I find the item actually cheaper somewhere else. Okay? And I was able to still make a deal. So don't let little snags in the ointment you know little flies in the ointment little snags in the road you know stop you from your goal okay as what you're trying to do here is when things pop up you got to figure it out figure it out if you don't know how to do it if you weren't sure how to do it google it go on youtube ask a question you know there's plenty of people and and go on the different forums go on facebook forums and you look for groups and ask questions. People will be glad to give you information. Believe me, if you ask a question in one of these forums, you'll get 30 replies on what an idiot you are. Do it this way. It's very easy. So like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. I'll answer your comment. Okay. Share the video with anybody you think maybe is drop shipping and is interested in, in, in how do you how do you figure out how to how to price your items. I hope that made it a little more clear. You know, don't go by what I say, what a guru says, or you know, what you heard on whatever other channel, or you know, go by what you know. There there are eBay calculators out there. Go on Google, search eBay calculators, it'll it'll you put in the price, it'll give you it'll give you exactly what your fees are, and you can with no guesswork involved, you'll know exactly what it is, and you know, that's what they you know. That's what you gotta do. All right, guys. This video is about drop shipping. You didn't know? Well, here we go. Simple drop shipping. Uh, we're trying to get started. We're trying to get a, a, an eBay drop shipping deal going with little to no money, as little money as possible, while realizing you're in PayPal jail and you're gonna have to lay out money while money's being held in PayPal, okay? Um, I've touched upon customer service on a couple of other videos, but customer service is really important. You, you're starting out, you don't wanna get negative feedback. Uh, you definitely don't wanna get negative feedback. You're a brand new seller, you're looking to build up your, 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 uh, your seller's rank, so you don't wanna get negative feedback. Some of the things you can look out for is when, you, when you're going through and researching your items, make sure that the pictures that you post are accurate to the item. 
I had one item, it was a kitchen set, it was a play school kitchen set, had a sink, a stove, and, and, and like kind of countertop set up like a kitchen for girls to play with, or any, not girls, but you know, for kids to play, a kitchen, uh, house type of deal, and uh, it was a good price, I had a good price, I had a good picture, but the picture had a couple of kids standing at the, at the play set playing with pots and pans and whatever else they had in their hands and uh turns out my play set didn't have pots and pans in it so i was getting returns so things like that and believe me that was a big headache for me because it was a, it was a big item to be returned and the first one got returned to my house not back to the supplier so thank goodness it was walmart i was able to run down to my local walmart and return it walmart is great so anyway uh be true to what your item is when you're doing your listings, okay? Your, your title has to be accurate. Your pictures have to be accurate. Make sure there's not extra stuff in the pictures that can confuse people to make them think they're getting more than they're getting, okay? Uh, so that's one thing. Customer service. When somebody's not happy with something, bend over backwards to make them happy, you know, uh, Make sure you tell them that before they make negative feedback, please give me an opportunity to correct the problem. Uh, if you have to lose money, if you have to give somebody a return, realize if you're giving somebody a return, you're out your eBay fees and your PayPal fees, okay? So you're out of those fees if you're giving a return. You're losing money on returns. You are. No doubt about it, okay? You are. Guess what? I'd rather lose 13% of an item, okay, and then have a negative feedback that's gonna be on my thing, on my eBay, in black and white, blue and white, whatever the hell it is, uh, forever, that every seller, every buyer is gonna see in my seller thing, negative feedback, that for whatever reason, could be the craziest, stupidest thing, people are crazy. Like I said, they they got, item wasn't listed as, uh, wasn't wasn't delivered as shown, or whatever the, whatever the thing is, uh, make sure, make sure you got to be specific, and it's got to, it's got to be right. You don't want to, you don't want to chance returns. They're gonna happen. They're gonna happen. You're gonna have returns, but do everything you can not to have returns. Okay, do everything you can not to have returns. Do everything you can with customer service. It is real important. It really, I can't stress it enough that it's, it's, it's that's your business. That's your face on the internet. That's your personality. It's your persona. It's who you are. It's your credibility. Okay. If 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 people can't trust you, they're not going to buy from you. Kabish. So if they're not going to buy from you, if if you have negative feedback, it's just the way of the world. And and would you ask yourself that question? Would you buy off somebody that had negative feedback who said uh, so a seller was not a good communicator? seller took too long to get back to my questions the seller didn't do which is another thing when someone on ebay sends you a message answer it answer it okay they they may be stupid may be ridiculous but you're not answering just that one person that comment there could be 50 freaking people with that same question stopping them from buying your item okay and only one person out of the 50 had the nuts to ask you so you put it on there Okay, you reply you reply everything through eBay. You don't do any personal emails. You don't use your personal email to email your customers. You do everything through your eBay account. Okay? So eBay has a record. If there's ever a dispute, there's ever a dispute that you weren't communicating, it's right there. eBay, you don't have to worry about getting your emails to them or anything. It's all right there in your eBay account. Okay. Conduct yourself professionally in a professional manner. Okay, realize that you're gonna have to eat a little crow because you're never gonna see that customer again. That customer is a complete and utter moron who doesn't deserve your time. But unfortunately, they represent a percentage of customers that are gonna see how you handle that situation and they're gonna decide on whether or not they wanna do business with you based on how you handled that problem. All right, so hopefully that makes sense to you. I'm not, there's a puddle there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go on and on about it. You know, I, I think I've made it perfectly clear how I feel about customer service. It is the most important part of your business. It's more important about than how much money you're making. Okay, if you're making 10 percent, 12 percent, 20 percent, doesn't matter. Okay, because you'll be making zero percent 
if your customer service rating goes down, if your, if your seller's rank goes down, if you're not a preferred seller, if you've got negative feedback, it's going to go in the tank for you and it's going to be difficult, if not impossible, to get out of it. You may have to start all over again. You may have to close that account and start a new account, you know, because it's very hard to return, recover from negative feedback. It really, it really, it, it, it really, I can't say it enough. There's really nothing, not, nothing that's not worth doing to get out of negative feedback. All right? Well, that's that in a nutshell. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Okay, share this video with people that are drop shipping. You know, you know that idiot who doesn't think customer service is important, okay, who thinks he could be just an idiot to people and a real jerk, all right? And, uh, you know, that may work until he gets to be known. I mean, it's, you know, it's what's going to happen sooner or later, sooner or later, karma, right? That karma is going to come up and bite you, right? That's what happens. So, you know, like, share, 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 share. Okay. Sonny and share. I've had enough. I've had enough. It's been a long one. All right.